Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Quincy Youth Arena. This is Bill Graney from Quincy Access TV bringing to you the second meeting of the Quincy High Presidents and the North Quincy High Red Raiders of this 2007-2008 hockey season. We're starting off with senior night, and the first presentation of the evening is senior goaltender Steve Parisi and his mother Stephanie. Steve will be the starting goaltender tonight for the North Quincy Red Raiders. The next player to be uh, announced in his final game of uh, playing as a Raider, number three, Greg Callahan uh, and his mother, Judy. Now we're gonna bring out Zach Deegan, number six, senior Zach Deegan and his mother, Mary Lou. This is a big night for both the, both the players and the moms. It's a very special tradition that they have uh, in the hockey program at both schools. Uh, it's nice to see. Okay, next up is number 20, John Ciccarello and his mother Mary. Next is number 14, Captain Derek Scott and his mother, Corey. Senior Captain Derek Scott and his mom, Corey. And now we're gonna do the Quincy High Presidents. Number 23, David Bowe and his mom, Jane. McFarland's up next and his mother Tony. <laughs> next number nine, Matty Bresnahan and his mom Deborah. Number three, Andy Bythrow and his mom, Beth. Number 21, defenseman Mike LaBelle and his mom Lorraine.
Number 18, Kevin Shea and his mom, Kate. Kate Shea. Number 14, assistant captain Nick Massoni and his mother, Robin Massoni. And now the captain, number 19, and the leader of this team, Teddy Walsh, and his mom, Lisa. Okay, that wraps up the presentation of the uh, the seniors from both schools uh, meeting their moms, getting a nice picture, taking a nice bouquet of flowers for their mother. As I said, a tremendous tradition here uh, by both hockey teams. Uh, something I'd like to see a lot more of. Uh, I'm sure they do it for baseball. Uh, I don't remember. I've never seen it at a Thanksgiving game, but I think it would be a uh, a great tradition to start and we're about five minutes away from the start of this game and uh, I'm expecting a hard-fought game as North Quincy is 9-4-4 four and four and already qualified for the state tournament and Quincy is uh, hovering in the third spot in the league at 8-8-1 eight, eight and one, and they need three points uh, to qualify for the state tournament they've got three games left so they got to come up with uh, couple of wins or a, a win and a tie or three ties whatever they just like to get those three points and get themselves qualified for the tournament uh, both schools have qualified for the tournament the past few years and if you recall last year uh, we had a tremendous state playoff game opening first round between North Quincy and Quincy High held here at uh, Quinn's Youth Arena. The place was packed, the building was packed, the city was all excited. It really was a great, great night. And I don't know if we can get that this year, probably not, but I'd still like to see both teams qualify for the tournament. Uh, the presidents have have three games, uh, four games left, uh, three games after tonight. So let me correct myself. They got, uh, they got four games to make three points. Uh, they play Brockton High, uh, Blue Hill Regional Tech, which is a tough team, and Plymouth North. North Quincy has two games left uh, after tonight. They also have to play Blue Hills and a red-hot sandwich uh, team that's a member of the Atlantic Coast League who has uh, really become a, a bond burner the last half of the season. It's going to be a, that should be a tremendous game between two tough schools, North Quincy High and Sandwich High School. So as I said, the referees are out on the ice. The teams are still warming up. Uh, we're about three minutes away from the face-off. Uh, we have a nice young lady by the name of Megan Quinn, a sophomore at Quincy High School, who's going to uh, sing the national anthem today. The building's starting to fill up. It was a, you know, this game won't be shown live. It'll be uh, on tape delay, but it's the day of the snow and the rain and the floods here. Uh, in the state of Massachusetts. So that's uh, affected the crowd uh, a little bit, but as I always say, a North Quincy High, Quincy High hockey game, uh, always a great, a great event, always packed. Uh, the stands are always filled up, always backed up behind that uh, snack bar end of, of the rink. There'll be three or four deep when this game gets started. Upstairs in the uh, warm, comfy room, uh, we got a good crowd up there. 
and also a little bit uh, starting tonight in net for the for the North Quincy Red Raiders will be the senior goaltender uh, Steve Barisi. Uh, in the first game we had uh, Matt Brundage was in the net for the first game, a three to zero Quincy High North Quincy High victory. A little uh, a little different type of game that first game as North Quincy High scored all their goals while they were shorthanded. As the teams played five aside, it was a very evenly well played game. But for some reason, North Quincy was uh, up to the task when they were shorthanded, and they scored three times. Also tonight, Coach Bob, Bob Silva, the dean of high school hockey coaches in the state of Massachusetts, has done a, a little bit of changing of his lines. Uh, he shook them up a little bit in, a, in an effort, hopefully, to uh, score a few more goals. The Red Raiders and Coach, Coach Mike Charletta, who's done a tremendous job in his first year here at North Quincy High School, uh, a very, very outstanding job by Mike. I've heard nothing nothing but glowing reports from the parents and from the kids uh, of the job that he's done this year. A lot of uh, off-ice training, a lot of discipline, and as I've said in talking to uh, the parents and to the kids, uh, they were very happy with their uh, new first-year coach, Coach Mike Charletta. He did a nice job. But Quincy High will be making some line changes uh, in an effort to uh, juice up the scoring a little bit. Uh, they're going to open up with uh, Teddy Walsh and Nicky Missoni and Mark Gilbert. He was the big line, but an effort to get a little more balance. Coach Silva has uh, chosen to put a freshman, Derek uh, Murphy, up there with Teddy Walsh and Nicky Missoni. He's moved Mark Gilbert down with Kevin Keith and Andy Bythrow. And the other line will be Kevin Shea, Sean Darling, and Zach McCall. So he has uh, changed his lines up a little bit. Uh, and I'll be anxious to see how that works out in the first period. The North Quincy Red Raiders will be going with the same lines. They've basically played these same lines the whole year. Their big line is junior captain Brandon Gilmore with Scott Richardson and freshman sensation Brandon Glenn. Uh, their other two lines are Paul Reardon, Zach Deegan, and Trevor Richardson. Brian McLean, Brandon Whitehouse, and Matty Rodriguez make up the other line. That was a, a big, big line in the first game. McLean, uh, Whitehouse, and Matt, Matt Rodriguez. Uh, the forechecking and the work they did on Quincy High's number one line was tremendous. The defensive pairings remain the same. Joe Valpondo and junior captain Matt Fury has one defensive pairing. Uh, Derek Scott and Kevin Chenette is the other one. Here we go with the national anthem, which will be sung by Megan Quinn, a sophomore from Quincy High School, as both teams go to the ice and will uh, listen to Megan's presentation.
The fine rendition of the national anthem by Megan Quinn, a sophomore at Quincy High School, and we're moments away from the opening face-off. As both teams skate down and hit their goaltenders one last time before this game gets underway. And we'll see how this game is going to uh, match up. Quincy High is the home team, so Coach Sylvia will have the last change. Uh, he should dictate the way it's going to go, get the line matchups that he wants. Coach Chirella had them. Chirella had them the last time. And the Raiders are opening up with hey, what's up, Chad? Good? Matt Rodriguez, Kevin Keith, and Mark Gilbody. That's their aggressive checking line against Quincy High's big line of Teddy Walsh, Nick Masoni, and now sophomore Derek Murphy. On defense, we get Valpondo and Fury for the Raiders. And, and LaBelle and Scott Valentini for the Presidents. The opening draw was controlled uh, by the Presidents as they poked it right down into the North Quincy end and went up over the glass. We'll have a face off to Matt Barisi's right. Puck control, draw control by North Quincy. No, could pick back up by the Red Raiders. By the president's rather. Derek Murphy got it to the captain, Teddy Walsh. Walsh got it back to the point to Valentini, a very strong, offensive-minded defenseman. He threw it in, but we got nothing going on. Raiders now control the puck, throw it out into neutral ice, but good forechecking, uh, back-checking rather by Nick Masoni. He controlled uh, the puck, threw it back into the Raiders zone. So here we are in the opening, opening uh, 30 seconds or so in the tempo. Uh, Quincy's trying to take the tempo of the game over. All right, here comes Masoni. He headmans the puck up to Walsh. Walsh cruising down the right wing. He's looking, tries to get it in front to Masoni. Masoni can't get his stick on it. But here comes Murphy to pull it away. But now the puck's picked up by the Red Raiders. And uh, junior defenseman Kevin Chinette stole it, threw it down in, but we had an offside, and we're going to have a draw now. No, we have a little penalty coming up. We got a penalty on uh, Nicky Masoni. I didn't quite see what happened, but the Raiders will be going on the power play here in the first minute of the first period. Okay, draw control by the Raiders. They've got Gilmore Richardson and Brandon Glenn out there with Chenette, with Matt Fury and Valpondo on defense. Draw control by Gilmore. Gilmore gets it back to Fury. Fury gets it back over to Gilmore. Gilmore tries to throw it on goal, but it goes up over the head, knocked away by the presidents, and they send it down the length of the ice where Barisi does have to play it a little bit. Puck picked up by Matt Fury. Matt Fury's bringing it out as the Raiders are trying to set up their power play. They get it over to Gilmore. Gilmore circles in the middle. Richardson circles in the middle. Here comes Gilmore. He's bringing it down the right wing. He stops, sets up in the corner. He gets by one guy, gets it over to over to Fury. Fury throws it in front, but nothing doing. Picked up by number four, Brand, uh, Glenn, the uh, freshman who's on the big line, gets it back over to Fury. Fury gets it back in the corner to Gilmore. Gilmore makes a fake, goes in front, and it's deflected and it hits the ceiling, and we're going to have a face off just to uh, Jeff Giordani's right. Giordani in the net for both games. He was in the net for the opener. He's played most of the games this year. He's a junior goaltender, does a fine job. Uh, in the net for the presidents. Okay, draw controlled by Gilmore. Gilmore gets it back to Fury. Fury does manage to keep it in. Goes into the corner where it's picked up by LaBelle. Uh, by Valentini. Valentini tries to get it out on the pass from LaBelle. Uh, and we have a high stick. Uh, puck controlled by a high stick by one of the Raiders and that's going to bring the draw way back here in the North Quincy end with 17 seconds left on the power play. So far, Quincy's done a nice job of uh, killing this penalty. North Quincy did have it in the zone a long time, but they really didn't get uh, much action on Jeff Giordani. As a matter of fact, they didn't even get a shot. Okay, draw control by the Raiders. They have it down behind the net. Gilmore has it. He's got it in the corner where he's trying to set up, but he just can't seem to get it going. Puck controlled by the Presidents. They throw it out. The penalty's over. And now Matt Fury picks it back up, looks to get it up the boards to Gilmore. Gilmore gets it, gets it to Glenn. This line could be a little tight. I think they're looking for a change. 
as they were out there for the entire power play. But they're staying out there. This is a, a double shift. Puck stolen by the by the president. Picked up by Sean Darling as he tried to bring it down the middle but couldn't get much done. It's thrown back out into the neutral zone. Puck that thrown back down into the end where Barisi holds it up, gets it over to Gilmore. Gilmore gets it back to Fury. Fury's trying to bring it out. Some aggressive forechecking by senior captain. Uh, Teddy Walsh doing a nice job, trying to bang it up ahead. Up ahead to Gilmore, passes too high, and we have icing, and we're going to have a face-off down in the Quincy High, in the North Quincy High zone, just to the left of goaltender Steve Barisi. Zach Deegan, Paul Ridden, and Trevor Richardson out there this time against the big line of... Quincy High, it seems as though Coach Charletta is not that concerned right now about the matchups. There's a little tip. It was almost tipped into his own net by Matt Fury. Barisi had to be uh, had to be awake. Puck stolen by Masoni. Masoni trying to get it in front, throws it in front, and Barisi holds on. And there's the first, first big save of the game by goaltender Steve Barisi on a nice play by Nick Masoni, who took it from down the right wing, came in on his backhand in front of the net. Threw it in at Barisi, but Barisi buried it in his pads and held on for the whistle. Okay, we've changed, both teams have changed up as the Rodriguez White House McLean line is out there for the Red Raiders. And the presidents have by throw Kevin Keith and Mark Gilbody out there. This could be a, uh, a good line for the presidents tonight. Is as I said, Coach Sylvia has uh, changed his lines up a little bit in an effort to try to get a little more balance, I think, maybe, or a little more uh, scoring. And in the opening minutes, uh, Quincy has had a little bit more control than the North Ra Quincy. But here's a breakaway right now, uh, skating in all alone. And he took Giordani out. Took Giordani out, and he had him beaten cleanly, but he couldn't put it in the net. Was Brian McLean as he uh, he hustled down the middle? He did. He he gave he gave Giordani a little head in the shoulder, but then when he went back to put it in, he missed the entire net. Tough break for the kid, but play continues on as the Gilmore, Richardson, and Glenn are now out there again for the Red Raiders with Valpondo and Fury on defense. And Quincy High has Walsh, Masoni, and uh, Derek Murphy out there right now. Puck controlled by Brandon Glenn. Gets it to Fury. Throws it in front. Tapped. No one can control it. Picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore tries to throw it in front, but it goes by. It's picked up by the Raiders. And here comes Walsh. He's flying down the right wing. Gets up a good head of steam, but he's pushed off the play and behind the net by good forward checking, by good back checking by Richardson and a nice play by defenseman Fury as they just pinched uh, Teddy Walsh against the boards and he really uh, couldn't do much. He tried to throw it in front but wasn't successful. Okay, the draw now again to the left of Barisi. Draw controlled by Quincy. Kept in by Valentini. Valentini gets it over to Murphy. Murphy tried to uh, throw it in front, but couldn't make the connection. Now it's picked up by Richardson in the Quincy zone. He throws it right on Giordani, but he's up to the task, and he makes a nice save uh, on the play. Now here comes Masoni trying to get it out. They get it out into neutral ice, where it's banged back in by Brandon Gilmore. Glenn tried, tried to catch up to it, but Giordani took it under his glove and decided to take the save, which will be to his left. We've played a little bit more than five minutes. Uh, each team has had one or two scoring chances. Uh, North Quincy's Brian McLean did have the better better opportunity. Nicky, Nick Masoni for Quincy High also had a good a good chance, but had to go to the back end and may have lost a little bit of the zip on the shot. Sean Darling, Kevin Shea, and Zach McCall out there right now for the Presidents as the puck's thrown down in their end. And now the play is, is down in that end is 
Quincy's trying to build up some type of a little bit of attack, but they're not being successful as they were being pushed off the puck by the Red Raiders. Line of Redden, Deegan, and Trevor Richardson. Puck goes back out into the neutral zone, thrown back in by Zach Deegan. Goes behind the net where it's picked up by defenseman Matty Bresnahan. He's taking a peek as he's trying to get the play started. He's taking it up the right wing boards. Now he sees a little room. He's got a little room. He takes it right in, throws it on Barisi. Barisi kicks it over to the left. Draw controlled now, stolen away by Deegan as he tries to get it out, but he's banged off the play by number four, Scott Valentini, and the puck is back in the president's end. Little pushing and shoving there with uh, Kevin Chinette and Valentini, but nothing major. Puck controlled uh, by nobody as the Raiders are trying to get it out as Derek Scott bangs out along the boards, back into the neutral zone, Quincy throws it back into the North Quincy end where it's picked up again by Scott. Scott tries to get it out. Out of the zone, but he's not too successful. Now he's got it back behind the net. Throws it around along the other, other boards. Where it's picked up by Brian McLean. McLean trying to get it out, but some aggressive Quincy high four checking is keeping the puck in the North Quincy zone, and North Quincy hasn't been able to get it out. Just another big throw out and a very fortunate kick off the boards where it went in on the goaltender and it stays in the zone. Now the president's trying to get it back out. McLean working hard over in the corner to keep it in. He does keep it in. It's picked up by Rodriguez. Rodriguez behind the net throws it in front, but he can't make the connection. Kept in by... Matt Fury, Fury tries to throw it in, but it's thrown back out into the neutral zone where it's picked up again by Fury. Fury throws it back down into the North, uh, into the Quincy high end. Puck's picked up by LaBelle. LaBelle throws it around the corner. Rossoni lets it go. Picked up by uh, Valentini. Valentini trying to get it out. President's having a little bit of difficulty right now in their own end trying to get it out. They've been fortunate that the Raiders have not been able come out much of an attack, but here's an attack as Masoni's coming down the wing, he looks, he fires, Barisi makes the save, that's the second good scoring opportunity for Nick Masoni, uh, he's one of the big guns for the Presidents this year, uh, he scored a, a lot of goals, I think he's second on the team in scoring, I don't have the exact amount of goals he scored, but he's a, uh, he's a top gunner on that wing. All right, puck controlled by the president. Behind the net, Bresnahan has this. He's trying to get it out of the zone, but Brandon Glenn, the freshman for the Raiders, is forechecking well. And Bresnahan having a little bit of difficulty, but now he gets it out. He's looking up ahead. Uh, kept the puck a little too long, and it was taken away by the Raiders, but now it's picked back up by the president. As Murphy throws it in. Uh, on Baresi, but Baresi was up to the attack and made a nice save, but we also got a penalty coming up. <laughs> on the Red Raiders, and it's number 14, Derek Scott. He's going off a trip, and so the Presidents will have their first power play of the evening with five minutes and 39 seconds left in the first period. We played 10 minutes. Very wide open period, a little bit of up and down, a lot of skating. All right, draw control by North Quincy, and it's thrown down by Brian McLean, who throws it down. It's picked up. Picked up by the presidents as they're trying to bring it out. As uh, sophomore defenseman Jimmy Finn got it out. Now the puck's. Picked back up and controlled and by Andy Bythro. Bythro throws it in, throws it over to number 13, Mark Gilbody. He fires it at Baretzi and it goes up over his shoulders and the Presidents have scored and they've taken a one to nothing lead. And that's one of the line changes that Coach Sylvia made and it's uh, paid off here in the, on the power play. As that was a nice pass by Bythro, he dropped it for Gilbody. Gilbody fired from the from the left wing and went up over the corner and over Barisi's right shoulder and into the net and the Presidents now have a one to nothing lead uh, at five, 10 minutes of the first period. So here's the first goal of the game and it's scored by the Presidents and coach has to be happy. 
has to be happy with that one as the last game Quincy did have a little bit of difficulty you know, when they were on the power play but they opened right up tonight with their first power play attempt uh, they set right up in the zone and they they put the puck away and they have that one or nothing lead right now okay draw controlled by no one now Gilmore has it tries to throw it in but it's Picked up by Finn. Finn throws it into the middle. And now it's down into the North Quincy high end. Now North throws it back in as Derek Murphy threw it in the corner. Masoni fighting along the boards. Picks it up. Keeps it in the zone. Now it's still in the zone. Masoni digging hard against Rodriguez. And it was controlled. Now Masoni's on the other side. We got some aggressive forechecking by this line, but now they've lost control and they've thrown it out. Finn picks it back up. We got a high stick by the by the Red Raiders, but no damage done and the play's waved off. Picked back up by Quincy Walsh, tries to throw it out, thrown back in. Uh, Gilmore and Finn going into the corner. This ought to be a little good matchup. Okay, Finn battles and controls the puck and throws it around the back where it's picked up by North Quincy. They throw it in front and Giordani covers it up as we have a little bit of a scrum in front, but there was no damage. Giordani held on and we'll have the draw just to his right in the Quincy high end with the score one to nothing on a power play goal by Mark Gilbody on a nice pass by Andy Bythro. Okay, draw control by no one. Okay, now control by Fury. Fury throws it back over where it's picked up by Brandon McLean. McLean couldn't control. It's picked back up now by the Presidents as they have it back down on their own. And now it's picked up by uh, McLean. McLean looking for Matty Rodriguez. He couldn't control it. Goes the length of the ice and we have another icing. So we're going to bring that. We're going to bring the puck right back down to the North Quincy end. As the presidents have come out, they've come out in the first period. Uh, they've, they've, they're going to let the Red Raiders know that this is not going to be a pushover game. This is going to be a, a, they've come to play the presidents. As I've said, they're a tournament tested team. Right now they have four games left. They still got to, got to come up with three points out of that possible eight to make to make the tournament and they're uh, attempting right here in the first period to let the Raiders know that they're here to play tonight and they have controlled most of the first period. Okay, draw control by LaBelle as he was looking for, he was looking to feed it back to the defense but he could now it's picked up by by Scott. He tries to get it out, gets it to Zach Deegan. Zach Deegan throws it in the middle, but Finn's right there as the anchor in the middle on defense. Throws it back into the North Quincy High zone. Valpondo has it behind the net. Kept back in by Quincy. Puck control by Bythrow. Bythrow has the puck. He loses it. Picked up by McLean. McLean throws it in, gets it over the red line, then dumps it in as the Raiders make a change. And we've got Gilmore, Richardson, and Glenn out there right now for the Raiders. And we get a uh, icing coming up. We've got an icing coming up and the draw will be to Giordani's right down in the Quincy High zone. Masoni trying to plead his case that he tipped it and there shouldn't have been an icing, but the refs say no. And we're gonna have the draw just to the just to the right of Giordani. One nothing, two minutes and 26 seconds left here in the opening period of the second meeting of the North Quincy High Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents. Been a well played first period. Very entertaining, the fans are getting their money's worth. Okay, draw, puck control by Brandon Glenn. He tries to get it up to Gilmore, he loses it. Picked back up by Walsh. Walsh coming down against Derek Scott. Throws it in. Barisi puts the mid up. Holds on and he's going to take the save. Barisi has been a little more tested tonight than, than Giordani down in the other end. As the presidents have come out of the locker room, prepared to play, 
And they have set the tempo here in the first period. Okay, draw control by the presidents. Nothing going on. As Kevin Shea tried to uh, throw it at the goal to him, it was tipped behind the net, thrown up by the defenseman, and back into the neutral zone, now down in the uh, president's end. But here comes the president's breaking out. Here they come, skating down. Dropped off. Sean Dowling dropped it off. For number 18, Kevin Shea, but Shea couldn't do much with it. Now the puck's picked back up by the Raiders as Derek Scott, he brings it out of the zone, throws it down into the president's end, where it's picked up by the Quincy High defense. Finn throws it all the way around. where it's picked up by Mark Gilbody on the opposite wing, but Gilbody throws it down, goes the length of the ice, and we're gonna have another icing. And the draw will be to Giordani's right with 1.06 left here in the opening period of this game between the North Quincy Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents. Okay, draw controlled by North Quincy. Fury throws it behind the net, Brandon Glenn Fighting behind the net with Bresnahan. Gets it in front, but nobody's there. Now picked back up by Brandon Gilmore. Takes it into center ice, skates it around, gets it over to Scott. Now Scott's trying to bring it down, 46 seconds left. Scott throws it in front, but it just goes to Giordani's right. Finn picks it up, throws it behind the net, gets it up along the boards to Gilbody. Gilbody's getting it out, where it's picked up by Bythro. And there was an offside as Mark Gilbody threw it at Boresi, but the whistle is blown. And we have a draw. They were offside as we have a draw just outside in the neutral zone, just outside the North Quincy High bench. Okay, Gilmore, Richardson, and Glenn out there for the Red Raiders. Draw controlled by Quincy Valentini, throws it behind the net, picked up by Derek Scott. Scott trying to get it ahead to Richardson, can't make the connection. Gets it over to Matt Fury. He can't make a connection. Now the President's Walsh has it. Tries to throw it in front. Ten seconds left in the period. As Quincy's got a little bit of a flurry here. Trying to get one before the period ends. But now it's controlled by Fury. Fury throws it behind the net. And there's the buzzer to end the opening period. A very hard fought, well played first period. But I think I'd have to give the edge a little bit to the President's who have come out to play and have taken a one to nothing lead. But as everybody knows, that one to nothing lead really doesn't mean a lot in a North Quincy High, Quincy High game. So both teams are gonna go to the locker room. They'll make some adjustments. We'll be back momentarily with the start of the second period. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Quincy Youth Arena for the start of the second period between the North Quincy High Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents in the second battle of the year between these two teams. The Presidents have a one nothing lead after one. We're looking for a uh, fast-paced second period. Also, before this period starts, I'd like to take a moment and wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day, but I'd especially like to wish a very happy Valentine's Day to my three grandsons. Jack, Alex, and Timmy, Nanny and Papa love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, the third period, second period just got underway. The draw was controlled by the presidents, picked up by Fury, Fury, uh, by the Red Raiders, excuse me. Fury picks it up, throws it in, but it's now picked up by the presidents. Masoni looking to get it out to Walsh. Can't make the connection, and we have an icing, and we're going to have a draw down here uh, just to the right of goaltender. Jeff Giordani, who wasn't quite as busy as as Barisi was in the North Quincy high net, but Giordani was up to the task as he punched aside all five, five or six shots that the Raiders threw at him in the first period. Okay, now the draw controlled by the Presidents. Gets it to Fury, Gilmore. Can't get it by. And it's knocked back out. We have Masoni picks it up, coming in hard on the wing. Gets by. 
Gets by Derek Scott, but can't quite control it. And the stop was made by Barisi, but the presidents are gonna be going on the power play. As Derek Scott did put the uh, put a little bit too much wood. No, make that Matt Fury put a little too much wood on Masoni as Masoni skipped by him and he's going out uh, for a, a for a hook. So the presidents are going to open right up here with a power play. They did score on their first power play. They did a nice job of keeping the puck in the Raider end and they were successful. Okay, there's the puck thrown back in by Gilbody. Gets it over to Valenti. Valenti picks it up, throws it back at him again. Oh, right in front of Gilbody, and he puts it high over the net. He had a lot of that right-hand side of the net, but he just couldn't make the connection as he tipped it a little bit too high. But the draw is still controlled by the Presidents. The Presidents have the puck in front, and they score again. Number 10, Kevin Keith. As the puck was controlled by Gilbody and Andy Bythrow, they threw it back in front. Bythrow got it over to Keith. Keith scored. And the Presidents have scored their second power play of the game, and they now have taken a 2 to nothing lead in the opening minutes here of the second period. Very aggressive play by the Presidents on that power play, and it paid off with a quick goal, and now a 2 to nothing lead. Here, as they've controlled the tempo of the game, puck picked up by Finn. Finn taking a look around. Bangs it out the right boards. Fury loses his stick. Thrown back in by the Raiders, but Finn picks it up again, looking to get it out. And he can't make the connection. And the puck goes all the way down, and we'll have an icing in the... Uh, Draw will beat the Giordani's right here down in the North Quincy, in the Quincy High End. He tried to make a connection with uh, Derek Murphy, but he couldn't quite do it. Puck thrown in on Giordani. Giordani pushes it out of sight. Draw control by Fury. Fury tries to get ahead. Walsh is looking for it. Picked up by Murphy. Murphy's trying to get it out. He's looking over to Bresnahan. Gets it over to Bresnahan. Bresnan, the defenseman, takes it into the neutral zone, then throws it in the end. Masoni in the forecheck. As Scott slips down, Derek Scott slips down, but he gets the puck behind his net, picked back up by Masoni. Masoni, <coughs> excuse me, now dumps it back into the North Quincy high end. Aggressive forechecking seems to be what the presidents have in mind to try to keep North Quincy bottled up in the neutral zone and in their own end, and they've been successful with it right here to start off the opening minutes of the second period. But now it's picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore cruises down and fires, and Giordani has to make the save. As the top gun for the North Quincy presidents, North Quincy Red Raiders, excuse me, Brandon Gilmore, the leading scorer in the Atlantic uh, Coast League, came down the left wing, threw it on Giordani, but he was up to the task. Okay, the Raiders send out. McLean, Whitehouse, and Matt Rodriguez. Draw control by the Presidents. Picked up by Bythrow. Gets it over to Mark Gilbody. Gilbody throw, threw it in front. As I said in the opening moments of the first period, Coach Sylvia has made some changes, and the biggest change he's made is this line of Gilbody, Bythrow, and Keith. And they have played very, very well. I'm sure he's pleased as they have responded as a unit as they, their line has both goals even though they're on power play but they were out there for the power play and they did they scored two times so the changes that coaches made has proven significant here in the opening minutes of the second period okay draw controlled by the Raiders but we have a whistle and we had the refs hand up so we got another penalty coming up and this one is against the Presidents. As Andy Bythrow goes into the box, so now the Red Raiders will have a will have a power play. They had a power play in the opening moments of the first period, and they couldn't manage to get much done. It was the first or second shift of the game. So let's see how they do this time. Okay, draw control by Gilmore. He gets it back to Fury. Fury throws it back over to Gilmore. 
Gilmore in, throws it back over along the right boards. To Joe Valpondo as he brought it down, but we had an offside. So now we're gonna have a face-off just to the outside of the Quincy High zone. As Valpondo was cruising down the wing, it was a nice setup, but they just went a little bit offside, so they lost what could have been a scoring opportunity. Okay, puck control by Fury. Fury gets it over to Gilmore. Gilmore gets it back to Fury. Looking to find Richardson, misses. Now Fury keeps it himself and comes down the right, brings it into center ice, throws it in on, on Giordani, and Giordani makes it safe. Puck picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore setting the tempo of the of the power play. Gets it over to Fury. Fury to Valpondo, throws it in front. Tipped by Richardson, but it goes up into his belly and doesn't make it all the way to the net. Now it's picked back up by Gilmore. Gilmore gets it out to Fury. As they do have an effective power play going, but they haven't got a shot on net yet. Now Fury gets it back over to Valpondo. Valpondo shoots. Nice save by Giordani, and the Presidents knock it out. As the Red Raiders set up the textbook power play, and we're moving the puck around and getting a good opportunity, but Giordani was up to the task. And now the Raiders make a mental error here on the power play as they send it the length of the ice and they have an icing on their power play, which I'm sure Coach Charlotte is not going to be too happy with. As they were working very effectively on the power play, but that icing uh, is going to temporarily slow them down. Okay, draw, controlled by no one. Now picked up by the president as Walsh throws it in behind the net. It's picked up by Scott. Scott bringing it out. Looking to get it ahead. He was looking for Rodriguez, but he kept the puck. Now Scott holding on to it. Correction, that's Fury. As Fury, the senior captain on defense, may feel a little responsibility, and he's trying to uh, do a little too much on his own here as he's tried two rushes that have been unsuccessful. So we've got a change coming up. We got Scott and Jeanette out on defense now. The Raiders, the Presidents have uh, Bythro, Gilbody, and Keith out there now. They've scored two goals. They've been a very aggressive line and they've controlled the tempo when their line has been out there. Puck still in the North Quincy end as they, Bythro gets it over to LaBelle. LaBelle fires it up over the corner, just misses. But the puck is picked back up by Bythro, and he's controlling the play. Picked up by LaBelle. LaBelle has it. Very offensive-minded defenseman who's got himself up there in the zone. But it's being covered. The point's being covered effectively by Kevin Keith as Bythro and LaBelle are four checking very hard in Gilbody, and they've controlled the tempo of this whole shift. The puck hasn't left the North Quincy zone, and Baresi's decided he wants to face off and see if we can reorganize and we're going to have a draw just to his right as both teams now change up. Great job then by that line of Gilbody, Bythrow, and Keith as they controlled the play in the Queen and the Red Raider zone for the entire 45 seconds or so that they were out there. Now draw again, controlled by the Presidents. Thrown at Parisi, but it slips behind. Tried to pick it up by Bresnahan. Bresnahan does keep it in, but we got the... The ref's got the arm up, and we've got another penalty coming up on the Red Raiders. As the Quincy High Presidents will be going on their third power play. As Fury skates right over to the box, he's going in the box. So that'll be a little bit of a loss. No, more than a little bit. That'll be a big loss in defense on this power play uh, for the Presidents. As the Raiders will be missing their number one defenseman, Matt Fury. Okay, draw controlled by the presidents. We got Walsh, Derek Murphy, and Masoni out there with Finn and LaBelle on defense. Puck controlled by the presidents. Masoni takes it over into the corner, throws it back to Walsh. Walsh fiddling, diddling, gets it down back in the corner to Masoni. Masoni tries to get it out to LaBelle, does. Uh, as Finn just can't keep it in as he tried to get it to LaBelle. LaBelle couldn't quite keep it in, so we're gonna have a draw just opposite the Quincy High bench with one minute, seven seconds left on the penalty. Eight minutes, 51 seconds left here in the second period and the Quincy High president's holding a two nothing lead in this 
the second battle of the North Quincy High Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents of the 2007-2008 hockey season. Draw, controlled by Quincy. Puck behind the net. Gilbody has it behind the net as Coach Silver has elected to send Gilbody by throwing Keith back out there for the remainder of the power play. Uh, as I've said, that line's been very effective. Okay, picked up by Walsh. Walsh throws it in. Derek Murphy, the freshman, had the stick on it, uh, but couldn't put it home. All right, puck controlled by Gilbody. Gilbody gets it back to Masoni. Masoni throws it in front, loses it temporarily. Here's a little bit of break for the pre for the Raiders. As Zach Deegan has it, takes it down, but he's taken off the play very nicely by defenseman Mike LaBelle. Picked up behind the net by Masoni. He leaves it for Walsh. Walsh coming out, four checked by Brandon Glenn, the freshman for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Nice job holding up, up Walsh as Glenn's working hard along the boards and the Raiders now control the puck down in their own end. Jeanette picks it up, throws it to, up the boards where it's tapped by, tapped by LaBelle and Giordani comes out to cover it and we're gonna have a whistle and we'll have a draw just to his, to his right. Gilmore, Glenn, and Richardson out there now. They're going back off. And McLean, Whitehouse, and Rodriguez are out there right now for the Raiders. And we'll see how they do against Kevin Keith by throwing Gilbody. Draw control by the Presidents. Keith gets it up. And Bythrow took himself offside. unintentionally and we'll have a draw back in the neutral zone as Coach Charletta has now elected to send out his number one line against Bythrow, Gilbody and Keith. That's the respect he now has for this line. He's decided to put his number one line out against this line that was formed for the game tonight that has been most effective for the Quincy High Presidents. Okay, draw control by Quincy, gets it to Gilbody. Gilbody fires, but it's effectively blocked by Fury and just goes off to the right into the corner where it's picked up by the Rays. Raiders trying to get it out, they can't. Gets by Finn, here comes Finn and Glenn. Two young players both battling in the corner, but it's picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore throws it to Glenn. Glenn has a nice shot. And he finally knocks it in, gets it by. Gets it by Jeff Giordani, a lot of nice hard work by freshman, freshman winger Brendan Glenn, as he didn't give up. He poked at it, Giordani knocked it away, he threw him at it again, Giordani knocked it away. Third time Glenn threw it at him, it slipped through the pads of Giordani and the Raiders have scored. And it's now two to one with six minutes, 58 seconds left here in the second period. So. The coaching move by Coach Chaletta has paid off as he threw out Glenn. Glenn Gilmore and McLean against that line and they were successful and they scored a goal and now it's two to one and we're a little bit, we're about halfway through this game. Barisi elects to hold on and there'll be a draw just to his right. Six minutes, 45 seconds left and now is what a two to one game a lot of time left. The Red Raiders are saying, you may have gone up 2 nothing, Presidents, but we're here to play, and they now have responded. Okay, here's the draw. Controlled by, controlled by the Raiders. They throw down to the neutral zone where it's picked up by LaBelle. On, on it is Matt Fury. Fury loses control, stolen away by Kevin Shea, Shea brings it right in front, but Barisi holds on. Nice play by winger Kevin Shea as he stole the puck from the North Quinty defense, skating in front, but Barisi was up to the task, and he's fiddling with his uh, shirt and his pads as they can't find the puck as there it drops out, so we're gonna have a draw just to his right. Masoni Walsh. And Derek Murphy out there for the Presidents. Draw controlled by the Presidents. As Murphy throws it in front, but it's banged away by the North Quinty defense. Now here comes Richardson. As Richardson, Gilmore, 
and Glenn are back out there as they're trying to respond as they're out there quickly again as Gilmore now controls the puck but he loses it LaBelle throws it over into the corner Fury up pinches up on defense and keeps control of it but now he loses it to Captain Walsh or the president's but it's picked back up by Brandon Gilmore now it's stolen away by Murphy and is a little bit up and down a little bit of falling but now the puck's controlled by Masoni. Masoni tries to get it in the middle, can't. Okay, puck picked back up by Gilmore, by, by Brandon Glenn, excuse me. He throws it in front, but Giordani elects to hold on. Both teams changing up now as the pace is picked up a tad here in the uh, middle of this second period. Fury and Valpondo out on defense. The line of Deegan Ridden and Trevor Richardson out there for the Red Raiders. Draw control by Quincy and it goes out into the neutral zone where it's picked up by Gilbody. He's got by throw on his right. Gilbody throws a hard shot up high over, over Barisi's head and it scampers over to the corner. But it's picked back up now out of the president's end. It was picked up by Paul Ridden. Ridden tried to Throw it in front, but he couldn't. Now it's picked away by Finn back out into the neutral zone. Oh, hot hit over there. Along the boards. By Kevin Keith, but it's thrown back down by, by the presidents. And we've got a another icing as the draw is going to be ba coming back here. Past few minutes have been a little... A little bit scrappy, a little bit too much of in a hurry with a few too many icings. As nobody wants to make a mistake and they'd rather take the icing than make a mistake. Okay, puck control by Matt Fury. He's in the neutral zone trying to get it ahead to Deegan. He misses Deegan but he picks up. Picked up Brandon Whitehouse. Brandon Whitehouse got it over, over to Fury. Fury threw it in, but Giordani was up to the task. Threw it up over his head and into the net. Okay, we're going to have a draw right to his right. Gilmore, Richardson, and Glenn out there again for the Red Raiders. Walsh, Murphy, and Masoni out there for the Presidents. Puck controlled by... Derek Murphy, he got it ahead to Nick Masoni. Masoni cruising down, threw it at Barisi. Barisi was up to the task as he put the mid out and grabbed it. He'll hold on and take the draw just to his right. 4.13 left here in a very fast-paced second period. Draw controlled by the Red Raiders. Now picked back up by the President of State, keeping it, but Gilmore, uh, Brandon Glenn gets it back out, throws it over the head of Gilmore, throws it down in the corner. He's down after Valenti throw, Valentini throws it over on the other wing boards where it's picked up by Walsh. Walsh gets it out to Massoni. Massoni high in the corner, lets it go again as Barisi's looking for it, but he has it in his belly. Thought for a second it got by him, but he had it in his belly. The senior goaltender uh, up to the task, makes a nice save on Nick Massoni, who was cruising down the right wing, picked his spot. But Barisi took it in the belly and held on. Okay, draw. Controlled by the Presidents. Now taken away by the rate of defense as Matt Fury throws it out into the neutral zone, goes back down the Presidents end where it's picked up by Finn. Finn trying to get it out to Gilbody. Gilbody fighting along the boards with McLean and Whitehouse. Now it's picked back up by Finn. Finn gets it out. Okay, it's out in the neutral zone where it's picked up by Bythrow. Bythrow throws it into the end where it's picked up by Scott. Derek Scott. Scott takes it, throws it around the right wing board, throws it back out into the neutral zone, and it's up against the glasses. We get a little banging going on, but the Red Raiders are successful in throwing it back down in. Rodriguez with it behind the net, Finn all over him. Finn made a nice play. Rodriguez threw it up along the boards. 
Kevin Keith a fought along the boards far, took control now. It's back to Keith, gets it out to Bythro. Bythro can't quite hold on, but it's picked up by Gilbody. Now Gilbody coming down the right, tries to fire again, but a nice play by senior defenseman Derek Scott, who took the shot off his knee pad and no damage done. Okay, draw now. Puck now controlled by Gilmore. Skips along the boards, looks in front. Giordani up to the task. Gilmore throws it back out in front. We have a whistle as the net was off the mooring. We have a little collision there between Steve, two number 17, 17's a while, John Darling and Matt Fury right there in, and Kevin Chinette rather, right there just at the top of the North Quincy zone. But both players get up, give, them, give each other a little tap and skate off to their respective ventures. Okay, draw to the right of Giordani. Brandon Gilmore, Brendan Glenn and Scott Richardson out there for the Presidents. Walsh. Walsh, David Murphy, and Masoni out there for the Red Raiders. Gilmore keeps it in with some aggressive forecheck and trying to get it in front camp, but he does keep it. Makes a move here, move there, throws it right across in front. Nobody to tip it home, but the puck's now stolen away by Masoni. Masoni breaking in, goes to his left, looking for the captain, Walsh, but can't make the pass. Puck controlled by Kevin Chinette. Chinette throws it back. Kept back in on the point by LaBelle. LaBelle throws it back in, but it's picked back up by Gilmore. Gilmore coming right up the middle. He's got ahead of steam. He's looking at Valenti. Gives him a little head fake, goes by and throws it back in front. Gets it to Richardson. Richardson throws it uh, on the net, but it never made it there. Now Richardson has it again. Controlled by Derek Scott, he throws it back in. Richardson picks it back up. He's looking to make a play. Valenti knocks it away. Valenti sends it the length of the ice. He was a little tired. He decided to take the safe route and he took the icing. But it will result in a face-off down here in the President's end with one minute, 23 seconds left in a 2-1 game with the President's on top of the Raiders. McLean, Whitehouse, and Rodriguez out there for the Presidents. Gilbody, Bythrow, and Kevin Keith out there for the Red Raiders. For the Quincy High Presidents, rather. Draw controlled by the Presidents. Now stolen away by the Raiders. Get it in front. Picked up by Gilbody. Gilbody gets it ahead to Keith. Bythrow the trailer. They throw it back down. All three, all three of them aggressively chasing the puck in their end. But the North Quincy defense manages to get it out of the zone. Now, now it's kept in by Gilbody. Gilbody throws it behind the neck, net where it's picked up by Matt Fury. Fury tries to get it out. He can't stolen again by Gilbody. He throws it right on, by Keith rather, he throws it right on net and Boresti's got to grab it and he's going to take the face off with 48 seconds left here in the second period. Okay, Walsh Walsh, Murphy, and Masoni out there with Bresnahan and Joe Finn on defense. Draw control by the Red Raiders. Raiders try to throw it out into the middle. Wave off the icing as it goes into the crease and Giordani has to make the save. He throws it up along the boards. Gets it to Murphy. Murphy can't quite handle it. Finn comes in, knocks it away where it, now it's picked up by, uh, by Captain Teddy Walsh. He gets it out finally where it's picked up now by Bresnahan. Bresnahan trying to get it over on the right wing as he was trying to feed Masoli and he was unsuccessful, but the puck's now in the President's and the Raiders end. They throw it in front. Walsh takes down one of the North Quincy I players right in front. Could have been a penalty, but the ref held on to his whistle as we're down to three, two, one. And that's the end of the second period. A very well played second period with each team scoring a goal as we go to the locker room, just prior to the third period, we're gonna clean the ice. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the third period with the score, Quincy High Presidents two, North Quincy High Red Raiders one.
Okay, everybody, welcome back to the start of the third period here at Quincy uh, Arena, the North Quincy Quincy High Baseball uh, Hockey Game. I spent the second, in between the second and third period, talking to Ryan Lewis, the number one North Quincy High hockey fan, who predicts a 3-2 victory for the Red Raiders and two goals in this period. Okay, we're just getting ready to drop the puck as the official comes to center ice. Let's see if Ryan's prediction comes true. The Red Raiders were penalized at the end of the second period with that little uh, bumping going on behind the net. So the presidents are opening up with a power play here to start the third period. And they've been successful on the power play all night. And they have their new found power play line out there of Mark Gilbody, Anthony Bythrow, Andy Bythrow, and Kevin Keith, who have done a magnificent job tonight. Uh, that's a line that the coach put together for this game and they have played remarkably well. Uh, puck thrown down by the Raiders as the presidents now try to bring it out. Kicked up along the boards. Puck controlled by Kevin Keith. Kevin Keith has it down in the corner. He's looking for by throw. By throw can't hold on as Valentini has to go back down and get it. Valentini and Massoni on the points. Keith, Gilbody, and Bythrow out there for the presidents, but they haven't mustered much here. Always tough to get going on a power play when you're opening a period. As you're just coming out of the locker room, the legs are still uh, a little tight. Takes you a little bit to get loosened up. But they now are controlling the puck behind the net as Gilbody tries to pick it up, he does take it away. Gets it back out to the point here. The Finn, Finn tries to throw, he throws it back in front to Gilbody. Gilbody picks it up. Uh, by throw with it. Looking for Valentini in front. As the president are trying to get a little th something started as the penalty does come to an end and there was no damage done as both teams are now playing five aside. Thrown in front by by throw. Puck controlled now by Bresnahan. Bresnahan has it by throw behind the net. He's been out there a long time. He may be a little winded as he's trying to get off. Puck controlled by nobody, but we got a penalty coming up on the presidents on number 18. Kevin Shea, as Kevin Shea is going out for tripping, so now the now the Red Raiders will be going out on a on a power play. Puck drop down, draw control by Gilmore. Gilmore gets it to Fury. Fury gets it back over to Gilmore as Gilmore is the captain and the and the big man controls the play on on the power play. Fury gets it back over to Gilmore. Gilmore brings it down into the corner. Looking to get the power play set up. Gets it over to Fury. Back to Gilmore. Gilmore sitting with the throws it in front. Giordani falls down, makes the save. Nice butterfly save by Giordani as Gilmore got the puck right on net. Now the draw, now picked up by Valpondo. Valpondo tries to throw it down, gets it by Brandon Glenn. Couldn't make the connection. Now Glenn fighting for it behind the net. Picked up by Gilmore. Now Brandon Glenn has it. Gets it back over to Gilmore. Gilmore throws it in front, but can't make the connection with Scott Richardson as the Raiders do control the play on the power play, but now the presidents throw it at the length of the ice, and the Red Raiders are going to have to set up again. Matt Fury with the puck, looking for Gilmore. Gets it ahead to Gilmore. Gilmore coming down the wing. Always dangerous with the puck. Let's it go. Just high over Giordani's right shoulder and over the top of the neck, but controlled by Derek Scott. Scott by Valpondo, rather. Valpondo with a great shot, it was saved by Giordani, now the puck knocked back out, Valpondo has it in the neutral zone, gets it ahead to Brandon Gilmore, Gilmore try, Brandon Glenn tries to throw it to Richardson, Richardson loses it, picked up by Valentini, Valentini behind the net throws it over into the corner, where it's picked up by Teddy Walsh, Walsh bringing it down the corner, trying to come in all alone, does come in all alone, fires it on net, but Barisi is up to the task and makes the save, Nice save by Barisi on a good play by Walsh as he came cruising down the right wing. Picked his spot, threw it at Barisi's shoulder, but Barisi made the save. Ra Raiders picked the puck up and they throw it back down behind the Quincy net, but here comes the president back out of the zone again. 
Here's Massoni with the puck by throw behind him. Massoni lets it go. Barisi makes another save. Two big saves to open the start here of the third period. Barisi's up to the task as he's trying to keep the Red Raiders in the game at 2-1 to one to see if they can get the, the goal to make this a 2-2 two -two game. Two big saves by Barisi. Okay, puck in the neutral zone, controlled by the Presidents. Now lost, picked up by Deegan. Deegan throws it back in the Quincy high end. Where it's now stolen, but picked up by Brandon Whitemore. He throws it at Giordani. Giordani can't quite control it as Matt Rodriguez tried to get a hold of it. Now it's by Scott. Scott tries to get it in, but kind of fans a little bit. Gets a weak shot on net. Picked up now. by Brandon Whitehouse as Brandon Whitehouse tried to control it but he lost it. Now picked back up by the president, now picked back up by the Raiders. Whitehouse aggressively forechecking but loses control. Puck's picked up by Gilbody and we have a whistle for the offside. All right, we're gonna have a face off in the big circle at center ice, not quite in the middle. No, we're going to take it over right in front of the North Quincy High benches. It was an icing. As it was an offside, and a draw would be just outside the zone. Okay, puck controlled by the president. Thrown behind the net by Barisi. Picked up by Sean Darling. Darling throws it in, but he loses it. Picked back up by Fury. Aggressive four checking by Kevin Shea. Fury has to retreat. Gets it over to Valpondo. Valpondo gets it in the middle to Gilmore. Gilmore tries to split the defense but was unsuccessful. Puck back out in the neutral zone where it's picked up by Fury. Fury gets it to Brandon Glenn. Here comes Glenn coming down along the right. He throws it in behind the net where it's picked up by Finn. Sophomore defenseman for Quincy High. Finn gets it right up ahead to Kevin Shea. Kevin Shea takes a shot. Barisi's right there up to the task. Puck's knocked back out into the neutral zone as the defensemen weren't quite up there and they couldn't Keep it in, LaBelle has it. Throws it back out in the neutral zone. Gets it ahead to Kevin Shea. Shea throws it in the middle. Now it's picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore circles, throws it back up to Richardson. Richardson throws it into the uh, president zone where it's picked up by LaBelle. LaBelle throws it up along the right boards where it's picked up by Derek Scott. Scott throws it back on net. Now Richardson has it behind the net as the Red Raiders are trying to get something going but they just can't seem to be right now. Senior captain Derek Scott pinches in, tries to control the puck, but loses it. Picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore circles, throws it back in. There's Brandon Glenn, but we have an offside. Very fast-paced third period as we've already almost played seven minutes, eight minutes, 23 seconds left in a two-to-one game as the Raiders are pressing the Presidents right now in an attempt to get this game all tied up. Okay, we have Zach Deegan, Paul Ridden, and Trevor Richardson out there for the Red Raiders. Draw controlled by, by the Presidents. They throw it in, but here's a steal by Deegan. Deegan gets it over to Matty Rodriguez. He can't hold on over to Richardson, rather. Thrown back out as Fury gets it, throws it back in the zone where it's picked up by Paul Ridden. Ridden tries to throw it in, but he can't. Big hit along the right wing boards in front of the North Quincy uh, bench. Massoni on Scott, but Scott gets right back up and gets in the play. Puck picked up by Walsh. Walsh trying to do it on his own. Does, throws it in front. And now, Walsh, he throws it in front, but it's picked up by Kevin Keith. Keith picks up the rebound, throws it at Barisi and scores. And there's that line again as they had made a change and Keith had come out for Massoni. Walsh held the puck, uh, threw it over to Keith. Keith threw it in front and now it's a three to one game as the Red Raiders appeared to be a little stunned here with 7.32 left here in the third period. As I said, the President's a very proud team a tournament tested team and they're looking to get back into the tournament this year and they need three points and they've come to play tonight here at Quincy Youth Arena. As we have a little bit of stoppage in play, I'm not quite sure uh, what for.
as the referees are over with the uh, scorekeeper. I'm not quite sure. We seem to have some type of uh, problem either with the ice or one of the pieces of glass. As we see the top notch maintenance staff here at Quincy Youth Arena running right up to see if we can uh, address the issue. I think it appears that they may have been a uh, a little something thrown out onto the ice and the referees immediately stop the play and we're going to get the, uh, the, the debris uh, picked up. So there's going to be a momentary delay here as we address this safety issue as safety is always of the utmost importance in any high school event or any sporting event held in the city of Quincy or any event held here at Quincy Youth Arena uh, for Quincy Youth Hockey. As we have maintenance now coming out to address the issue and we should be back in action momentarily. Okay, we're back now as the, the issue with the ice surface has been addressed and, and fixed. We'll have a face off right at center ice. 732 left, 3 1, Quincy High, and a very hard fought, well played game as the presidents, presidents have come to play tonight and they lead right now 3 to 1 with seven minutes left, but this also is a very explosive North Quincy High team who can uh, score at any time. There's a shot by Gilmore, who took it down in the center ice, but Giordani was up to the task. So we have seven minutes left here in the third period, currently with the uh, presidents ahead three to one. On a goal, third goal of the game was scored by Kevin Keith uh, on an assist from uh, Senior Captain Teddy Walsh. Draw control by the Presidents. We got that line out there again. Gilbody Bythro and Kevin Keith. Uh, they've been all over the ice tonight. Bythro trying to feed it in front to Keith. Gilbody picks it up. Picked back up by Gilmore now. Tries to get it out to Richardson. But strong forechecking by Bythro as he takes it away in the neutral zone and throws it back down into the Quincy High End. Into the North Quincy High End where it's picked up by Gilbody. Gilbody trying to set it up to Keith in front, but he can't. Picked up by Fury. Fury's taken along the length of the boards. Tries to get it to Richardson, but uh, unsuccessful. Tried a big pass, two-line pass, but they weren't quite successful. Now the Presidents throw it back, uh, Raiders throw it back in, but we get a delayed offside as the Presidents get it out as North Quincy High clears the zone. Thrown back in. Here's Kevin Shea picking it up along the right board, but Derek Scott shuffles him off. Strong play by defenseman Derek Scott. Two good plays by Scott. As the puck does get thrown back in front where it's picked up by LaBelle. LaBelle fires just to the right. <laughs> Sean Darling picked it up, tried to throw it back out in front, but he couldn't. Now it's picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore trying to take it the length of the ice. He's got the arm up. We got a uh, delayed call coming up on the presidents as we got hooking. Hooking being called on Quincy High.
Call on Sean Darling. So now the Raiders will be going on the power play with five minutes, 34 seconds left with Quincy holding on to a three to one lead. Very big, very big power play for the Raiders. If they can get, see if they can score to get a goal, it'll get them uh, a little bit closer. Make it a one goal game as coach Mike Charletti has called a timeout as he wants to talk to the troops before the start of this important power play. 534 left, third period, 3-1 presidents. In the battle between the two schools, which has been split for the past five years, as each team has uh, won one of the two game, uh, won one of the two games, and it looks like it may be that way. It may be six years now that we go, as the presidents are currently holding on three to one, but the Raiders are going on a power play, and as I've said before, the Raiders are very explosive. I've seen them. I've seen them score two, three times in two, three minutes. Very explosive, offensive-minded team, but. Quincy come out with a tactical plan. They forechecked four aggressively. Coaching staff set up a good game plan. The players uh, have listened to their coaches and uh, appear to be right on track. Timeout's over, so here we go. 5.34, 130. Uh, left on the penalty, the whole penalty, penalty hasn't started. Raiders draw control by Gilmore. Gilmore gets it to Val Pondo, picked up by Glenn. Glenn has it in the corner, trying to get something set up, looking for somebody. Gets it behind the net to Richardson. Richardson in front to Glenn, tries to bang it home, can't. Picked up by Fury, quickly over to Gilmore. Gilmore tries to fire it, fires it at Giordani, but he makes the save. Now the draw, now the puck's knocked out of the zone by the Presidents. Fury with the puck in center ice, gets it to Gilmore. Gilmore's ridden off, ridden off the play in the corner. Gilmore and Brandon Glenn Fighting for the puck along the boards. Richardson in there now, too. Referee trying to get him to bang it out. Fury, misfire, sent it way over to the right-hand side. Kept in by, by, by Valpondo. Taken a little past to Glenn. Glenn throws it in front. Giordani makes the save. 37 seconds left on the power play as the Raiders really haven't mounted much of an attack here on this power play. 37 seconds left though, plenty of time uh, to set something up and get a couple of good offensive scoring opportunities. Okay, Gilmore going into the corner. He's out there. Ooh, LaBelle bangs it in behind the net as it, it was a shot by Gilmore, but it just went just to the left of Giordani and there was no trouble. Now the, there's another hold up along the boards. As the presidents are playing it tough, they'll take the draw. This one's gonna come out into the neutral zone. So looks like it was down in the corner and the Red Raiders must have tied it up. By tying it up themselves in the zone, they have lost a little bit of their effectiveness as the puck's coming outside the neutral, outside into the neutral zone where Gilmore will be on the draw. Finn and Bresnahan out there uh, on defense. Mark Conley and Bythrow out there killing the penalty up front. Okay, Fury with the puck. Takes it to the left of Giordani, looking to create an opening. Can't, gets it over to Derek Scott. Scott throws it in front, no one can hold on to it. Quick shot by Rodriguez, but it goes to the right. Now thrown back in front by Fury. Brandon Glenn tried to knock it home, but he couldn't. Richardson trying to get it, but he can't get it. Now the puck's taken in control by the Presidents. Picked up by Bythrow, Bythrow goes around two people but then loses it. Nice play by Andy Bythrow as he gets it down into the North Quincy end. 
and the rest got his arm up and we get another penalty coming up and this one's on the Red Raiders. Scott Richardson going to the box. So with 3.46 left, the Presidents will be going on the power play again. 1.30, if they're successful on this power play, they could just about put this game away. So let's see what happened. Draw control by Walsh. Walsh gets it to Valentini. Valentini to Massoni, to Gilbody. Gilbody circling around the corner. Looking to get it, gets it to Massoni. Massoni fires, hits Walsh on the leg. Nothing happening, picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore, nice hit by Massoni, sends him, sends him down. Nice play by Massoni on defense. Okay, President's trying to control the puck as all of a sudden, Nicky Massoni has become the checking machine. But the puck then was almost a shorthanded situation for Brandon Gilmore. Okay, puck controlled by the Presidents. We got a whistle and looks like there was an offside. Okay, 48 seconds left on the penalty. Still plenty of time. 3-1, 3.04 left in the game. Quincy High presidents on top. Quincy High three points away from another tournament berth. Getting here two tonight would be very big with three games left. They'd only need one more point. And it also would be a nice win and a, a big split in the city, city rivalry between the two teams. Okay, draw controlled by North Quincy. They throw it out down into the, they clear it down into the president's end where it's picked up by Finn behind the net. Gilmore on him. No, that's Mike LaBelle, excuse me. LaBelle spins and turns and comes around the other way. Stolen away by Gilmore. Gilmore can't quite control it. Now he has it back again, trying to throw it down in front to Fury, but he can't. Okay, Scott out on defense. All right, taken by Andy Bythrow. Andy Bythrow brings it back down in the zone where it's picked up by Gilbody. Gilbody takes it out into the neutral zone. Two minutes, 14 seconds left here in the third period. 3-1, Quincy High presence. Draw controlled by, <coughs> play controlled by North Quincy. Derek Scott tries to get it out, but he's unsuccessful. Puck goes into the neutral zone. Gilmore and Bythrow. Gilmore and Finn banging it up. As the puck comes loose, thrown back down into the Quincy high end, Finn picks back up on it. Now stolen away by Gilmore. Gilmore throws it on that, but it goes wide. Had the, had the right idea, but he just fired it wide. Okay, puck in front. Giordani holds it up with one minute, 38 seconds left. 3-1 presidents. Okay, draw just to Giordani's right, but he seems to be having a little trouble with the headgear right now. He's making an adjustment, he has it back on. Officials waiting. Okay, now we're ready. As they go back in, puck controlled by, by the president. Bythrow, Bythrow has been a force, along with Gilbody and Kevin Keith. They've been a, a force all night for the, for the Quincy High presidents. Coach Sylvia has to be very, very pleasantly, very much pleased with the play of these three young men tonight. Okay. Puck thrown back down into the North Quincy end where it's picked up by Fury as Coach Charletta has elected to pull his goaltender with 107 left in the game. But the Raiders are down by two. Puck controlled by Glenn. Glenn tries to get it to Richardson. He can't. All right, 59 seconds. We're down to less than a minute left in the game. Puck controlled by... North Quincy, Gilmore bringing it down. He's trying to get them within one. Throws it behind the net, still controlling it. Tries to throw it behind the net, gets it in front of Richardson. And it's now a 3-2 game with 46 seconds left. As the move by Coach Charletta to go with six attackers uh, has paid off and drew the Raiders within one. 3-2, 46 seconds left here in the third period. The Red Raiders aren't gonna go away as they've now made it a one goal game they'll stick with six people on the attack 46 seconds left Gilmore, Richardson, Brandon Glenn, Zach Deegan out there 
along with Matt Fury and Valpondo on defense. Draw control by the Red Raiders. Fury gets it over to Valpondo, tries to get it above the line, gets it to Richardson. Here comes Richardson down on the wing. Great shot and a great save by Giordani. Throws it back in front. Very frantic. Lost 30 seconds here coming up as the Raiders are scampering all over and the Presidents are just trying to hold on. Okay. Puck control by the President sends it the length of the ice and it's thrown in by, let's get a peek. He's being mobbed right now. I'm not quite sure who it was. It was number 13, Mark Gilbody. There they are. They've scored all four goals. Mark Gilbody, Kevin Keith, and Andy Bythrow. A line just put together tonight for this game. And this team has, this line has responded. These young men have responded. It's 4-2 now with 19 seconds left. So it looks like the City Series will be split again, 1-1. 13 seconds left in the game. Puck thrown high up over the net. Seven seconds left in the game. Draw control by, uh, thrown back in by Valentini. There's the buzzer to win the game. And the Presidents have responded. They've come back. They've won this game 4-2 as they more or less controlled the play from the outset. They came prepared to play. North Quincy, a very proud team though also. They'll come back to practice tomorrow. They'll be at it on Saturday night and I'm sure they'll bounce back. As the Quincy High Presidents have take, taken a four to two victory here at Quincy Youth Arena. Both teams meeting here at center ice. The big handshake. These kids are friends off the ice, off and on the ice, but when it comes to game time, they play hard, they play clean, and they give each other a well-deserved pat on the back, a, a tough handshake, and they skate off into their locker room. So I don't know if we're gonna see you again this year, but I wish both these teams well. I hope the presidents make the tournament. The Raiders have already made the tournament. I hope they go deep into the tournament. And we're going to wrap it up here for Quincy Access TV. This is Bill Graney thanking you. Uh, thanking everybody for helping me out, both the cameramen. They did a fantastic job. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again. But that's it for the final time. Quincy High 4, the North Quincy Presidents 2. Good night.